The whole reason I decided to start a YouTube channel was so I could make this one video. Welcome back to the channel, and today we're gonna to talk about what's in my pockets. This is what I've been carrying for the month of August, and I'm really excited by this gear because this is something that I've been working to build over the past few months. As you guys have probably seen on this channel, I've been testing a variety of products, and even though some of these things may change in the future, I'm really excited with where my kit is, and I really wanna show it to you right now. So the first thing that we're gonna talk about is the Bellroy key cover, and I made a video about this about a year ago, and I've been looking for other key cover solutions that match up to this aesthetically and promise to deliver the same things that Bellroy does, and to be honest, I've never found anything on the market that comes close to matching the value that Bellroy promises. So I think the thing that I really like about this key holder the most is just one, the aesthetic, but also two, the fact that it keeps your keys completely silent. No matter how much you walk around, this is going to be the most noise that you're gonna hear out of the Bellroy key cover. And if you don't carry a whole lot of keys, and really you shouldn't unless you're required to for work, this is the perfect solution for you. The one that I have carries four keys. You can buy an Excel version that will carry eight if you need more. But um, I've found that the sweet spot for me is three keys, one to open my house, um, one to do my car, one for my mailbox, and then I also have a separate garage key. Um, but this does the job perfectly. Now, I do need to make a follow-up video because I made some claims about the leather of this product a couple of months ago that I just don't think are accurate. I think some of my gripes are still legitimate, such as like this off-colored stuff that you get when you scratch the leather a bit. That's, to me, is a little bit different than patina, but I have to say, this has patinaed super nicely over time. This key cover is a lot softer than when I first purchased it. It's a lot more worn in, and by and large, with the exception of these corners, um, it responds to scratches exactly like you would expect the top green leather to respond. Just as well, if not better, than any of the other products that I've been using. The second piece that I'm gonna show off is the Bullstrap iPhone case, which I'm still using. Now, this is the one that's probably subject to change because I just found a Nomad iPhone case cover that I'm really eager to try out and really shoot it out with this. But one of the things that I found with this case is that it fits my phone better than anything else that I've tested. Um, versus any of, and that includes other expensive cases, cheaper cases like the Lonely case. Um, this just sits on my phone so much better than any other case that I've tested. And the other thing is that these buttons respond so much better than any other case I've tested as well. These are actual separate buttons that sit out. Um, they work flawlessly, especially in comparison with the last case that I just tested where the buttons were stiff. These press just like they're native buttons on your phone. And so just in terms of the craftsmanship, this case is done very well. I still maintain my original complaint about the case, which is that it gets tattered and frayed and it starts to look bad the more that you use it, especially if you drop it. Bullstrap did reach out to me after my last video and they reminded me that there's a lifetime warranty on these products. So if I send this in, I can get another one that's damage free. So it's nice to see that they back their products like that and understand kind of the issue with this case, but I'm gonna shoot this out against the Nomad case to see how it actually fares. But other than that, like this case is just so much better than some of the other cheaper and even other mid-range iPhone cases that you can buy for your phone. So for now, this is staying on my phone. The last piece of my kit is a Miss Goods Co. Wallet. Now I did a video on this um, a couple weeks ago with, as a first look and I still have to do my final review but just to preview that like this wallet has really withstood the test of time for me at least in the couple weeks that I've used it so far. Already you can tell it's patina quite a bit from when I first got it. It's super easy to use and it is really simple so if you're into things that are a little bit more complicated this might not be the right wallet for you but it's super easy to access your cards. There's enough space to carry about six cards comfortably and then a little bit of cash. I did a stuff test and you can maybe fit seven in. I've had people claim that you can fit more if it stretches out the leather and if you do it slowly over time, which is something I'm not comfortable doing because I don't want to tear up the stitching. But like this is built so well and it just, it's so easy to open and close. I can do it without thinking, uh, and that's in contrast to the dangle wallet that I was testing out a little bit earlier. So for now, I think this is just gonna stick with me. And like the little touches that they have, like the inscriptions, the craftsmanship, and just the way that this sits in my pockets when I have my keys and phone with me, this is something that's perfect for what I'm trying to do. I will say that sometimes I forget where this is because I can't feel it in my pockets, and so if you're one of those people that needs to be able to feel their keys, your phone, and your wallet, in your pockets at all times. This might not be the perfect wallet for you, but for what I'm trying to accomplish, like this is the perfect wallet for me. 
That's what I'm carrying as of August 2021, and I'm super excited to have shared all that stuff with you. If you guys are carrying any of the same gear or have any questions, I'd love it if you'd leave a comment and ask below. If you got any value out of this video at all, if you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and share it. It really helps out the channel a lot. But other than that, I just really appreciate you guys stopping by to take the time and watch this video. Thank you so much. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.